So George, let's talk ancient human history. You keep bringing up this thing called Younger Dryas. And for those who don't know, for those who have no idea, never heard of this sort of thing, yeah. can you explain the name first and then what it's referring to? The name came from a little flower, an Arctic flower called Dryas octopella. The Younger Dryas was a well-established mainstream understanding that the climate crashed terribly 12,800 years ago. And temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere dropped by 20 degrees, just imagine that. And when they first started seeing this dramatic change in climate in the 20th century, they thought it took like a thousand years for that transition to happen, that 20 degrees to be lost. And it got down to 500, and it was 250, and it was a decade. And now it looks to all eyes like it was virtually instantaneous, right? Which begs the question, what the hell caused it? We're not going to get political here, but when we think, yeah. people think climate change, we're thinking gradually over a long period of time. Okay, we may or may not feel its effects from a year-to-year -year basis, but you're discussing something here that is much more instantaneous. It'd be horrifying. Everything would change instantly. It will, not just within your lifetime, but within a long weekend. So we know through geological records that something within human history essentially upended the way of life here on Earth. That's right. And the important part is it's um, in human history. But the understanding that the comet did the dinosaurs in is both important to us and also a little bit of a distraction because people don't quite realize the importance of what we're talking about. This was a mass extinction event that was extraordinarily recent in terms of major global change. There wouldn't have been another extinction of that magnitude for millions and millions of years before that. Some have criticized, particularly Mark Bosla, have said, ah, well, it's just not right that we would find something so very recent to us that the coincident between technological understanding scientific humans and this thing are too close. What if the technological, modern, thinking, reading, civilized human is a result of the impact? 